Hey everybody, I'm back with another video. It's been a minute. I just want to say thank you to you subscribers that have stuck around. And I want to say thank you for you new viewers watching today. Uh, today I've got one of our new Solar Jenny inverters sitting in front of me, as well as one of our other new ones that you've already seen. Uh, the 6,000 watt, this is the 3,000 watt. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Solar Jenny ACC SG 3K24 pure sine wave low frequency inverter charger. All right, so what I got in front of me here today is the brand new, only one in the world, the only model in the world. We have several units. Uh, we have them both a 24 volt and 48 volt. It's a low frequency inverter. Uh, it is a pure sine wave inverter, but it also is an inverter charger. So that means you can hook this up to AC power and charge your battery bank. But that's not all this handy dandy decimal thing does. This will also run any battery chemistry that you have, whether it be lithium, life PO4, lead acid, AGM. If it's a battery chemistry, this unit will run it, as long as it is in 24 volt series. So if you're running the Tesla Model S modules, they're a 6S system at 25 volts, that will run on this. And you will set this dial to number nine, uh, and you will be running the Tesla modules. If you're running life PO4 batteries uh, in a 24 configuration, that would be a an 8s configuration same thing you just connect it up turn your dial here to dial switch over here to number uh, three and you're now charging life po4 batteries agm batteries lead acid batteries are the same thing we have a couple different settings for those and you'll be able to charge any battery chemistry you want so let's just say hypothetically you want to start out with lead acid batteries uh, you know budget friendly whatever and that are that's what you have currently and you want to one day upgrade well that's easy enough all you have to do is switch battery banks, turn a simple dial, and you're in business. Now this inverter charger is a lot like the 6000 over here on my left. However, they do have some differences as far as power consumption and um, the power out that they can provide. This one here, the 3K24, is a 3000 watt continuous with a 9000 watt 20 second surge. Over here, the 6,000 watt is a 6,000 watt continuous with a um, 18,000 watt 20 second surge. However, this is single phase. This is split phase. What's the difference? Well, single phase is simple. This will connect to 120 volt on your shore power or generator to run power through it to charge your battery bank. Over here on this side, same inverter, just double the size, but it is split phase, meaning it's a 220 volt system. So you have to run a 220 volt to charge your battery bank. A lot of you guys have been asking for a 120 volt uh, solution. How can we get around this unit over here? Because you want to run 6,000 watts, but you do not want to run and charge at 120 volt or 220 volts. Well, this is the answer. The Solar Jenny ACC 3K24. You got your 3,000 watts. You can charge at 120 volts at 30 amps. But still, 30 amps in a built-in uh, charger on any battery chemistry, we're the only ones in the world that got it, man. Solar Jenny was the first to have this unit. Here you see our nice packaging that we've got. This is all the Solar Jenny packaging. All of our boxes look just like this, uh, whether it be for the 3000 model, the 6000 model. We also have the 12,000 uh, KW units coming in next week and then a boatload more of these coming in.
So let me tell you a little bit about this. Anyways, this is just like all of our other uh, low frequency inverters. It has uh, AC power in, it'll charge your battery bank. It has AC output protection, um, charge protection on the, D on the uh, DC side to charge. We have our selector switch up here for our power saver mode in auto or power saver off of which just turns on the uh, inverter. Over here we on the DC side, we have our negative and our positive battery connection. As you can see, I have a Tesla module hooked up to it currently. And um, we also have a remote control uh, that plugs in via a network cable here and runs the switch up here. Now I can turn it on really quick for you down here. So anyways, moving on back over here on the DC side of the inverter, uh, we also have our dip switches that will, you know, choose between um, inverter priority, battery priority, AC priority, uh, 50 to 60 hertz. Uh, we always have a 60 hertz for people in the U.S. And then uh, on the other side over here on this little green switch, this is for your uh, auto gen start. So if you have a generator that you want to uh, have auto start to kick on to charge your batteries, let's say you don't have shore power or the power goes out. Uh, we've, we've made it possible for almost any combination that we can think of for you to use this inverter and still charge your batteries. Uh, also over here, um, we have a battery temp control sensor that you can plug in. And uh, you can pick these up over on Seller Jenny on our website. Uh, they're like 20 bucks, I think, 15 bucks. And you just hook that to your battery, plug it in here. If your batteries start to get too hot, it'll shut down the charging on the inverter very quickly and simply. This bad boy weighs about 65, 70 pounds. Um, to give you an idea of its size, you know, everything in, you know, end to end with everything in the way, you're at about 22 inches, a little less than 22 inches, and that's going to the left side over here where all your AC wiring is going to be, and then past your DC wiring. So you've got about 22 inches long, and I'll do it from this side, it'll make it easier for me. You got about seven and a half inches high to clear the top plate here as you can see right there and then our distance across is about seven inches now you've got to allow a little bit uh, another inch or so of room for the feet for mounting if you're going to mount it on my left is on the AC side of the inverter so this is where you're going to hook your AC in and your AC out uh, it's a little battery cover box here that's straightforward uh, in my next video on this unit, I'm going to do a demonstration of this under full load. We're going to hit it 100% uh, load. We're also going to be testing down the Tesla modules to see how long these Tesla modules will hold up. Then we're going to do lead acid test. Then we're going to do a life PO4 test. So we're going to really throw a lot of stuff at this for you guys. What comes with the inverter? Well, you get the inverter in the box. You get your positive and your negative battery covers um, that are, not, are, you know, your lead covers right here so you uh, don't ever accidentally contact them. Also comes with a Solar Jenny manual. Uh, re really easy to read and understand. Um, I personally wrote the manual, so there's not a lot of broken English in there or anything like that. Um, you'll be able to understand it, I assure you. Uh, so that comes with a nice uh, manual. And to the first people that order the first five inverters from the time this video is released, we will also throw in the free LED remote, which is an accessory. We'll also throw in a free battery temp sensor. Other than that, these are sold as accessories to the unit. So once you see this video, be sure to come over to the website and order and uh, get your free accessories. We ship same day. We have the uh, website updated and integrated. It takes both PayPal and credit card. And... Uh, you place your order, this is boxed, ready to go. We put a label on it and it's out the door. We have these in stock right now, ready to go for you. So be sure to get your order as soon as possible. Um, right now, just in the middle of this video, I know I'm running kind of long and rambling, but I want to show you guys a couple of our new products. So uh, Anthony's getting me some BMSs right now. What we've done, folks, is we went out and we have purchased a boatload of BMSs in every uh, series that you might need them. We start at 3S for LiPo. 4S for LiPo and 4S for um, Life PO4. We go up to 6S for Life PR for LiPo. Then we go up to 8S for uh, Life PO4. We also have 7S 
for LiPo. We go to 12S for Life PO4, 13S for LiPo, 12S for LiPo for all of you Tesla guys that want to run uh, two Tesla modules or more in series and get yourself to 50 volts. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this also is a 48 volt unit. We have these at 24 and 48 volt for you guys. So if you want to run more uh, uh, Tesla modules or more voltage, we brought those up to 48 volts. So you have a, uh, a choice to pick 24 volt or 50 volt. And you also have the same thing over here to pick 24 volt or 50 volt, or I'm sorry, 48 volt um, on the other 6,000 watt. Our big boys that are coming to 12,000 watts, we have only 48 volt inverters on those, but they are once again the all current combination. That's what the ACC stands for in our model number on our inverter. This is our private label box, private label inverter. And coming forward are now are our private label um, BMSs that I was just rambling on about. So you get a BMS that come in a nice uh, handcrafted box right here. So this is a 4S 16.8 volt, 25 amp LiPo. Uh, BMS. Now this is just something simple for you guys that are out there making small battery packs for your e-bikes or something that is going to require a ton of amperage. I'm going to just open this up for you. Oh, he really did this up good, but that's all right. So what, what this comes with is um, the actual Solar Jenny BMS and your balance lead. So whichever model you get, that's what you're going to get. So I'm going to come around the front and show you this a little better. So it's because uh, it's pretty small. And, and that is the Solar Jenny Lithium Ion 4S 12 volt BMS and 25 amp. So very simple BMS. Balance lead just connects in here like so. And you are rocking. We have these all the way up to 300 amp continuous discharge. Uh, in whatever configuration that you might need. We've got an 8S, I don't know if you can read that. Here's an 8S Life PO4 60 amp, so this is going to be a little bit bigger unit. And we have as many of these as you guys need, as, long, as well as we have our Solar Jenny chargers. Uh, I want you to know that all of our Solar Jenny chargers are now um, OEM chargers uh, specific to us and our company. So there's a difference in size between the little 25 amper and the and the 60 amper and the thickness. They're about twice as thick and a little bit longer. Let me show you a bigger one here. Here we got an 80 amp BMS. Now we run a full warranty on all of our products, guys. So no worries about anything. We check everything before it goes out the door that we so we know it works. Every single BMS comes with its specs printed right on the front of it and also comes with a proper balance lead. Uh, like I said, quality control. We're testing each one of these before they even go out the door, so you don't have to worry about that. And uh, you're gonna get these in a nice little handy dandy box. So be sure to go over to uh, sellerjetty.com and get your BMS, your battery packs, all the above. Because we just moved 3,000 miles across the country, as a lot of you guys know, that have been with me for a long time. So it's just a couple more weeks and we're gonna be into full production again. Uh, and here's a little 100 amp. This is a 8S 29.2 volt 100 amp Life PO4. Uh, little bit bigger yet. So now we go up from the, you know, here's the 80 amp. These guys might show the same body. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they're the same size. So the 80 amp and the 100 amp are the same size. And to give you a good comparison on that, you know, I've got the old iPhone 10. I like to break that out. Um, there's my iPhone 10. There's the BMS, and it's about twice as thick as my my iPhone 10. And uh, because I'm working in the garage, and we're in the situation that we're in, uh, I do apologize for the video quality, the lighting, any and all of the above, uh, so on and so forth. We have another uh, BMS, Anthony's, you know, ready to show us here. It's a little bit bigger. This is a, a 8S Life PO4, so a 24 volt Life PO4 200 amp unit. Uh, as you can see, it's a quite a bit bigger. Let's pull this out of the box. Has to go in a little bit bigger box. I'm not going to unwrap all the plastic. It says Solar Jenny. It's got all the all the specs on it, but you know you can see a size comparison to the other one. So these are are seriously awesome BMSs. We've been in the process of having these done for a long time. 
Uh, we've went through a couple different BMS manufacturers and this is the one we finally settled on. Uh, it's simple, it's easy as you can see, two wires uh, and then your balance leads. And we're gonna go through video demonstrations here once we get moved and show you guys this stuff. We're gonna give you guys straightforward how to build your own portable solar generator from every part that we sell uh, on the DIY side. And we're gonna give you instructional videos with the schematics and then you guys can build them at your leisure and however you need to do them. Uh, other than that, man, I just want to say, hey, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please tell everybody about this. Share this as much as you can. We do have the only product like this in the world. Uh, nobody else has it. Uh, will it be like that for a long time? I don't know, but we will have it for some time. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you as always. Thanks for watching, man, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.